And the Maui wildfire disaster continues to impact everyone, especially those on the front line. The Hawaii Firefighters Association says one firefighter is still in the hospital and the homes of 20 active duty personnel and two retirees were destroyed. But as Bryce Moore reports, help is on the way. 18 firefighters whose homes are now in ruins are still working regular hours, according to Union President Bobby Lee. One Maui firefighter moved in with family in Honolulu and another remains in good condition at Queens Medical Center. Two retirees also lost their homes. One of our retirees, he got burned um, trying to save his wife and he was unsuccessful in saving his wife. You can run into a lot of retired firefighters out there that will still tell you, I might be retired, but I'm a firefighter. And so our, our family runs very deep. Part of their extended family, the California Fire Foundation. Lee says the nonprofit is working to provide emergency RVs to affected current and former firefighters, with five expected to arrive by the end of the month. These trailers also will be a big help because a lot of our guys like to do work themselves, like to, they're gonna be building their own homes or, or their friends are gonna be helping them build homes. They have kitchen facilities, bathroom facilities. You can hook up water source, sewer source. Lee says the Lahaina fires were unprecedented. Firefighters deal with and train for high winds, but 60 to 80 miles per hour usually means there's a tropical storm nearby with tons of moisture. We're not looking at that type of winds in the heat of summer with everything all dry and no rain. This is not a normal environment that we would go out and operate in or patrol or train or you know, anything like that. The Honolulu Fire Foundation is currently only set up for services on Oahu. So in addition to the RVs, the California Fire Foundation will handle donation funds until our local nonprofit is able to send money to Maui. We're talking about trying to start transferring money by the end of the week, this week, so that we can start reaching out and trying to help our firefighters over there. We'll have a link where you can donate on KHON2.com. Bryce Moore, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.